Hi, I'm Patty Nolan, and I hope you'll vote for me, number one for school committee, on November 7th. First, this is a re-election, so thank you for electing me to this position. I'll make a pitch in this video. For more details on my work and thoughts and reflections, check out my website, pattynolan.org, and ask your neighbors who follow school issues. Hopefully they know me. The summary of my campaign, with $27,000 a student, a city full of people with passion and expertise and dedication, an amazing community and institutions, there is no excuse for us not being the best school district in the state, which we are not yet. Honestly, that sounds a lot like what got me to run in the first place. So if the issues are the same, why do I deserve re-election? Why not elect some new folks? Because I get the job done. I represent you well. I have pushed for change. I've been effective and I advocate for best practices incessantly. By re-electing me, you will have someone on school committee who has accomplished a lot and never forgets that our job is to advocate for all students, advanced learners, struggling learners, and everyone in between. For our district to advance, we need engaged policymakers who work hard, use data to inform their decision making, and push for information and answers. And that's me. So my husband, David Rabkin, and I have two children who have been in our public schools since kindergarten. They have now graduated. My grandmother did not graduate high school, and my mother had to fight to go to college. And my father went to night school since he needed to help support his family. I was the first in my family to apply to and attend Harvard here. And a few years later, I went to Yale to the School of Management. That education means I understand how important education is. I have worked in the public sector, nonprofit, and for-profit. I worked in a corporate setting, including McKinsey, smaller companies, including leading an environmental firm, and worker-owned startups. Now my main job is serving you. So this background matters also. I have the passion, training, and skills to do the job well. Someone asked me recently, honestly, does the school committee do anything? And it made me reflect. And the answer is yes. This term we've accomplished a lot, and I've been a leader. We now have world language in elementary schools after five years of delay. Level up at CRLS. Discipline policies are being revamped. We've taken a critical look and continuing to look at our school choice policy. Free hygiene projects, products for all students. There's been a review of assessments and we are now giving fewer of those tests. There's a design lab led by teachers and many opportunities for teacher voice. We've developed a strategic plan and have an emerging more specific strategic plan. There's much left to do though, and that's why I'm running. If you want someone who collaborates with others and someone who's independent and courageous when warranted, that's me. I persist when it matters. Earlier this year, in fact, I put forth a motion to do a job search for our executive secretary, a position which pays over $90,000 a year. Our own policy and best practice require an open, transparent search. Believe it or not, that motion failed 5-2. We didn't do a search. I stand by that vote since I voted my conscience based on what was best for the district and good governance. My integrity in upholding best practice means at times I won't compromise. As many know from my lone vote against the last superintendent's contract and raise. And yet I understand that compromise is necessary. With world language, after years of broken promise and delay, it is only in two schools and only for a few grade levels this year. However, despite being disappointed, I supported this program and worked to make it happen. And I will work to expand it. So that's how I work on school committee and will continue if reelected. I serve knowing I will not always win. You may not always agree with me. However, you can be sure that I will keep my promises, work hard, listen, and reach out. So this election, you need to decide who you most want on school committee, and you have to vote number one for them. I hope it's me. I won big last time, yet in a recount just a few years ago, I won by 19 votes. And it was people's threes, fours, and fives that elected me. Every vote matters, including twos, threes, fours, and fives. If you want me to continue, vote number one for me. I am a consistent and effective advocate for high expectations, openness, respect, fairness, collaboration, and transparency. Please give Patty Nolan your number one vote, not only because I have the best campaign sign, with the drawing of me by my daughter done when she was nine years old, so it will be dear to my heart forever. Thank you so much for listening. PattyNolan.org.